Wittenstein High Integrity Systems presents Coffee Break Training. Welcome to the latest series of Coffee Break Training videos from Wittenstein High Integrity Systems. In this series of videos I'm going to talk about the Memory Protection Unit, or MPU. This is a hardware feature provided by many modern microprocessors. Where the hardware offers this functionality, SafeRTOS will provide support for it in the API. More information and additional training sessions can be found on our website. Follow us on Twitter at Wittenstein underscore Hiss for updates on new training sessions. A memory protection unit is an additional piece of hardware functionality. Many modern micros, such as ARM Cortex-M3 and M4 based devices, or the Renesas RX series offer this. This is not a full memory management unit, so there is no address translation but it transparently checks every memory access against a set of permissions. If the device has an MPU, SafeRTOS will support it. For these videos we'll talk about the SafeRTOS implementation for ARM Cortex-M based devices, but most of this is common with other platforms. Tasks operate in one of two modes, privileged or unprivileged. Privileged tasks have unrestricted access to all memory locations. Unprivileged tasks have all memory accesses checked transparently and automatically by the MPU. This includes all the memory mapped regions such as peripherals and flash. Using an MPU has a number of benefits, particularly in a safety system. The MPU also provides immediate protection from stack overflow. While SafeRTOS will check for stack overflows during a context switch, the MPU checks on every access to the stack, so if a task marginally overflows during normal operation, this can more easily be traced. It also allows better design partitioning and isolation of discrete tasks. This allows commercial off-the-shelf software, or software of unknown provenance, to be isolated from safety tasks. Because the MPU covers the entire memory map, Peripheral access permissions can be set on a per-task basis. Another feature of the MPU is that unprivileged tasks are unable to access global data structures unless explicitly set up to have permission. The benefits and features of an MPU discussed so far are common to most microcontrollers that offer the feature. To explore in more detail how to use the MPU, we need to go into more implementation-defined details. As one of the more common microcontrollers, in this video series we'll consider the ARM Cortex-M3. This is found in devices such as the STM32s, TI-LM3S, NXP LPC-17 family and many more. SafeRTOS makes use of the underlying hardware features. In particular there are a limited number of regions, on the Cortex-M3 there are 8, and some restrictions on how these regions are aligned in memory and what size they can be. The safe RTOS documentation goes into much more detail for each specific architecture. Here's a quick reminder of the behaviour for user mode code, or unprivileged mode. Every access is checked against permission settings. This can include read, write, execute permissions being set individually. If an access is permitted, then the feature is transparent and has no impact on the performance of the device. If access is not permitted, the MPU exception is taken. The demo code shipped with Safe RTOS includes an example exception handler that identifies the program counter location that caused this exception. This is very helpful when trying to debug MPU issues. The MPU in the Cortex M3 has a number of useful features. As well as each region having a size, start address, and set of permissions, they can be used in combination. So regions can overlap, and regions are priority numbered, where the higher numbered regions take precedence. This allows for many complex configuration possibilities in your application. Safe RTOS makes use of four fixed regions, which are set up when the scheduler is started, and four regions are changed on every context switch. One of these is required for the task stack, leaving three user definable regions for every task. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit our website for downloadable demos or sign up on Twitter for updates on further training sessions. In our next video in this series, we'll take a closer look at the safe RTOS code and walk through a simple example of configuring a task to use a custom MPU region.